All right. Cup your Angus. Vision 2-1. We're going to find out how to get to the Moon Kingdom. Deep in the Withering Forest, the Tree Village. So, even more new enemies this time. Now they have shields. They had shields in 1-2, but now they have spikes on the end of their shields. So that's pretty scary. But I think that'll do more damage to run into them. And now you have these guys. They'll spin around and you won't be able to hit them. But then they'll pop their heads out, and you will be able to with Epo. So, let's get past this guy. Throw our thing at that thing. And I did not realize that I missed a bugle in the last level. I don't even know what the official name for it is. Maybe I'll learn, I'll learn the official name by the time we uh, finish Let's Playing this. But, these little guys here, with their propellers, you can grab one and they'll like carry you over stuff. It's kind of cool. And, um, it's, I really like this game because of how creative they got with the enemies. You have these big, huge guys that are just really standard. You have the standard ones. You have the guys with shields. You got the ones who throw stuff at you, the ones who bounce. They got really creative with the enemies, which I really enjoy. And without being, like, too different. They keep the core aspect of the gameplay the same while, like changing up just enough to make the game like feel new and that's cool so we'll go in this tree here and oh my god this is the best treehouse ever ah so we can even change our perspective a little bit change the camera based on if we hop off the platform and this guy's swimming back and forth. I'm gonna get right now. and see even when those guys are shielded up you can't hit them with uh enemy you can't hit them with your uh, Q-Po, you can't hit them with anything. You just gotta wait until they uh, pop up. This guy needs to let me hop on the platform. Terrible platform skills, yay. And you can throw that in midair too. And I already have three of the... I'm gonna call them villagers from now on, because that's easier. I already have three of the villagers rescued out of the however many there are. I think there's seven in this level. I'm not too sure, but I'm gonna grab this mouse thing. See, now this is the mouse. We're not a mouse, like the Joker's saying. This is a dang mouse. It's a little puffball, but you know. Okay, so it looks like we need a key to get in here. Let's see. That's how I should end all my recordings for now on. Cheek chuka pa! That would be a fun way to end my recordings. But, you know what I really noticed when I was uh, listening to that cutscene? Well, Noah really sounds like the original voice actor for Sonic. Not like the original, original one, but the one from, like, um, I don't know if you've played Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Or, I don't even know, because the title looks kind of weird on those. But it's Sonic 2 Adventure, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, yeah, or Sonic Adventure 2, just because I played the GameCube version because I was a noob and didn't get the original. Because I don't have a Dreamcast. I'm only age. I'm not old yet. I'm older compared to a baby, but I'm not like old. But he really does sound a lot like Sonic, and if you notice. He kind of has a lot of, like, Sonic mannerisms. He's kind of... He kind of comes off as cocky, which Sonic does. Oh, I just got a key. Take that guy up. Fling him there. Get a key. There you go. That's your... Let's play for the day. 
And this leap is kind of cool. It's like perpetually floating from down and up because that's totally possible in physics. I'm just kidding. I never took physics. I take physics next year. I don't even know. Gravity could be a myth. But, yeah. These guys have shields coming at me. Float them down and... Okay, I'm gonna need to get this guy. Okay. Fling him there, let's see. And we've almost completed this bugle. I keep wanting to call it a bugle, I'll just call it a villager. And I remembered what the, uh, what the, this thing is. It's called the wind bullet, it's not called Kipo. Kipo just kind of stays with you. But this is called the wind bullet. And the reason your enemies float up and, like, get all bloated and stuff is because you fill them with air and they become balloon-like. And this is literally the easiest villager I've ever had to rescue. You literally just drop down there and you rescue him. Okay. And these guys are a little weird. They're like, um, the shocky things. I don't know what those are called. Um, in Mario 64, where you would run into them and you get shocked. They're kind of like that, because they just kind of go around in a fixed path, and then every time you touch them, you take damage. So, taking elements from Mario here is something that I'll always enjoy and appreciate. But then again, it's just an element in all games, really. I wouldn't credit it to Mario, considering this came out in the PS2 first. Dangerous for children, are you kidding me? That guy is like two feet tall. If anything, he's a child. We're like, I don't know, four feet, maybe? That sounds about right. Okay. We got through another level, collected all the bugles. That was a pretty short level, actually. Can we play one more? Yeah, but I'll save it for the next episode. See you guys.